We are now live. Are we live, really? I'm going to sign this now. This is for... Okay, first, we got to get Sharpies that work. <laughs> and if we don't have Sharpies that work, guess what happens? There are no signatures. So, for... Yes, for James. I think I need a better one, too. This is a weak one. Okay. There we go. There we go. James, good. That was great. Okay. For Ethan Skidmore Metaxa. Ethan Skidmore attacks. Uh, great. This is me, Dr. Peter Weller, a.k.a. your cal, your cal, your cal, how about that? Your cal, uh, you know, somebody go to Cal State, get, uh, get somebody go to University of California, Berkeley. Thank you. And... This isn't silver. Is this Ren? I cannot understand that last name though. Do you it's know? Ren Jiwei. How do you spell it? It says J I A W I. I mean W E I. -I. Okay. Yep. Okay, Ren. G I A W E I. Very good. Somebody's at the door. I don't know. So we have actually a message. Yes. From the stand. Yes, from Tom. No, from to Tom. To not Tom. This is the message from. He's sending me a message. Very nice message. And oh, what's his name? Um, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll get it. And you know what? Is that, was, it, was that him? Yes. Was that his message? Yes. Let me just write that down. Thank you for the message. What a great name. Okay, there you go. Is there a cap for this? Yes, yes, sir. Right here. Thank you. Now tell me your entire name again. What? Okay. Rob Fury. Rob. Yes. Fury. Are you Fury? I bet he is. <laughs> okay. For Tom. This one's for Tom. For Tom. Very good. Okay, this next one is for Randall. Oh, no, this one is nothing. This one is in a silver pen. Silver pen? Yes, sir. That's so, it, signature only. Signature up top and then right robot cup on the bottom. Okay. There's the signature. Okay. And Robocop there's the Robo. There we go. Fantastic. That Character is name well. Buckaroo. I can go about your tea time. That's funny. Wow, that's funny. Well, you're in a proper place for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a golf course, right? <laughs> All right, there we go. There you go. Randall, right. This next one is for Lee. For Lee. Your move, creep. Isn't that a great line? It really is. Stays with you. Your move, creep. That's a great line. Uh, you can't know how much fun I had saying that line. It's fun. Okay.
Uh, so I get the emails from you guys when you guys got them. Hey, you got two new things. You got four new things. Hey, so okay. Well, this is this one is for Richard. Okay. Dead or alive. Hey, Ben. Yes, sir. What's the standard price now for uh, whether it's a quote or not uh, for the pictures? Let me confirm. Don't listen to this, people. <laughs> <laughs> For Richard. Right. This one is for Rhonda. Doesn't have a name. Let's see Did this. lose it. 214. That's strange, doesn't it? Ha ha ha. I think that just came ah, off. Ah, it just came off. Nope. Oh, Here's Rhonda right 214. There you for go. Ron. For Ron. Okay. For Hi, Ron. Dead or alive? Coming with me. Okay. Now I have to make an appearance soon. We're up. Oh. For a name to ten autograph. I'm sorry? For eight by ten autograph, right? Yeah. It ranges from sixty one to eighty five. Good. That's good. There you go. Oh, sure, let's keep that. Yeah, let's keep, keep that. that. Okay, very good. Thanks, yeah, Ron. Yeah, I think we'll for sorry. Ryan? Yes, Ryan number 415. Just a signature. Got it. Just to Ryan. I was a little event years ago promised a star... Trek convention that happens in Italy. Uh, let me get this collar right. There we go. That happens in Italy. Uh, years ago, I promised uh, some people it, it, that I would appear, and then gigs got in the way of it. Gigs got in the way of it. And um, that's Isaac, the trumpet player. Really? Yeah, trumpet player. Okay, yep. he knows I'm a trumpet player then. Hi, Isaac, the trumpet player. I played my 20, I played 20, 20 minutes, 30 minutes today. I got to play every day. As you all know, Isaac, trumpet players have to play every day. Trumpet player, and then I'm going to draw what I do, a little trumpet right here <laughs> with notes coming out of it so uh, I speak about five dialects of Italian I mean it's like not bad and uh, so I had a panel and it was in Italian and it was maybe 150 people in the room and sometimes if they hold the mic too close to their mouth they speak too fast I had to ask them to repeat a question. And the, the, I had a sign, a, a, an interpreter. And the interpreter was from York. That's England to you, you see. And there are many English who live in Italy. They mostly live in Tuscany, if you've seen The Room with a View and all these other pretentious movies about how the Brits invaded Italy and had romance. Questo non è Italia. Italia cuore sud. Napoli, Calabria, Bari, Puglia, Lecce, Salerno. Anyway, that's real Italia, South, Rome. But I had this gentleman from New York. He says, I'm your simultaneous interpreter. I said, I really don't need it, but you can help me with some words. So he helps me with some words on the first panel. And then the next panel was the next day. And I got some compliments. People came up and said, thank you very much for being Italian. We're in Italy. And great. Uh, the next day, I'm waiting in the wings to do my panel, 
And uh, that's for Stephen. Hi, Stephen. And uh, the interpreter from York says, and I kid you not, these words, today you shall be speaking only English and I shall be doing the Italian. Yes, as pretentious as that sounds, that's exactly what he said. And I looked at him like you are looking, like these three people in this room are looking at me now. I look at, today you shall be speaking English and I will be doing the Italian. Uh, after my shock and resisting the impulse to bop, boom, mm-hmm. just, you know, or dunk right between the eyes, I said, now why is that? He says, because uh, I, said, I spoke to him yesterday. He says, yes, your Italian is no good. And you need a simultaneous interpreter. I said, listen to me. I'm a resident of this country. Simultaneous interpretation will take twice as long, A. And B, several people came up and understood perfectly what I said. So C, I will be speaking Italian. And that's all I speak because I am not Joe Tourist in this country, you see. Io sono residente d'Italia, e parlo questa lingua. And he said to me, well, you shall be doing it without me. And he walked off. And I kind of yelled after him, Vatene! Which kind of means in the Roman dialect, get the out of here. So, uh, it's strange, but I shall, you shall be, today you shall be speaking English. And I will be doing it like, my God, in my, as much, much as I love England, I have many friends in England, the English are pretentious even when they're talking about Italian. <laughs> Yes, that's my slap in the face at the mother country of the repressed Anglican ethic. So that one, for this print, it's Dead or Alive, You're Coming With Me, and yeah. signed as Murphy. This I don't understand, but I will share this on Instagram. Murphy does not say that line, although Murphy is the soul of Robocop, and we find out it's the back, but... It's Robo that says it. But once in a while, someone wants me to write this thing, and then they want me to write Murphy underneath it, despite the fact that Murphy don't say it. Well, technically, Murphy is like your Bruce Wayne, and Robo is like your Batman. Well, no, Robo doesn't know who he is when he says that. Murphy is the soul. This is uh, like the Oedipal thing. Like, he does not know it's his mother or his father. So. Yeah. Just a day. But that's a good point, Rob. You want to get psychosomatic about it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, that's why Robocop lives. Uh, because it has all these convulsive questions in it. Thanks to the great writers, Edward Neumeyer and Mike Miner, and, and a brilliant direction of uh, Paul Verhoeven. It has mythic images in it and questions about identity and identity theft, uh, which was brought to my mind when I did a third world signing or promotion for the the triple box thing in 2001. You know, people from uh, Thailand, Congo, Namibia, I mean, forget it, Zambia, all over Africa, all over Asia, India, Pakistan were saying do you realize how this movie resonates with the industrial nations ripping off the poor countries of the world and their identity and their work? You understand the theft? I said, no, I I did not. I said, well, the great appeal of Robocop in the third world nations at the time, even now, is that it's about theft. It is about those with money and prestige and fortune with an objective of getting richer or control, steal uh, the identity and the life of the person who's working for them. Do you think we've come closer to the world of RoboCop since? Absolutely. I, I, I think that RoboCop is resonant today because of the same thing, because of, look what, you know, 
the old man, Dan O'Hurley, was saying, you know, it's all like, we will own this city and, you know, everyone will get their own, including crime. So you got a trickle down economics thing there going on. It's like, you know, you got Reaganomics happening Just right away with those, those guys were writing. Yeah. And, uh, Despite the fact that I did not vote for Reagan, nor did I like his politics, nor did I like the way he ripped off all the social institutions of the United States and put them into war. I had a two-hour lunch with him at Los Angeles Country Club with the Mayor Reardon, the ex-mayor of LA, set it up. It was just me, Reagan, I think Lotvitsen, and a speechwriter. And as much as Reagan was tremendously honest about everything. I asked got to ask him everything, everything I wanted to. Um, uh, that is if Reagan came back as a Democrat, they wouldn't vote for him. They wouldn't vote for him today. The Republican Party wouldn't put him forth, man. Um, he's too nice and moderate and kind and genteel, man, you know. I mean, this Republican Party is a mess, and I... I was once a Republican, but now I don't know what I am. I just floundering actor and director and scholar studying the Renaissance. You on Instagram are getting more than you ever bargained for. You got to go. Yes, unfortunately. All right. Thank you, Ben. Thank you so much. Of course. Yeah. Have a, have a beautiful day, man. You too. I'll be in touch. Please, please do. It's great. To Okay. Are you guys taping this this uh, Instagram, by the way? Yeah, it's, we're, we're live right now. You're talking to but people. Are, is anybody recording it? Yeah, well, uh, once once we're actually finished with the live, it will, uh, we'll put it on our IG post. So it will be on the Streamly Instagram um, thread. So if I hope you don't mind me eating popcorn. It's because popcorn, I'm a popcorn addict. Well, everybody loves the, the Robocop lips, so... Ah! <laughs> okay. So you're right. So the next one is for Angelique. Angelique, what a beautiful name. Dead or alive, you are coming with me. Thank you, Angelique, for not asking Murphy to sign that. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. There's Angelique. Let's take Angelique out. And then this one is for to Steve. What's in that box? More prints. <laughs> or more, more requests? No, just uh, extra prints, just in case we have extra orders. But okay. That's all. Do, are people coming in? Oh. Yeah, people Thank are actually in the stream right now. I haven't checked it. A lot of people joining this thing, huh? Do people, how many people watching? Currently, That's right now, looks like uh, we have over 16 people on the stream right now, and there's probably more to be coming in. Okay. All right. So this, okay, this one is just a signature. Sure. Four, thirty-four. This is any famous, uh, any Robocop quote <laughs> with a signature. Okay. Great. Excellent. This one. Posters? Yes. This is your send in. Send in? Yes. This is a fan that sent this in specifically for you to sign. Okay. Leviathan.
There we go. Okay, it's wet. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna just turn it. Leviathan. Okay, fantastic. Get this one down. This one is 14. Where, who's the head of stream of it? Same guy? Yeah, Dave Vincent. Dave. David. This is just for a signature. Okay. Yeah, Aaron, if you find out what to do with these things, it'd be great. Because I, I, I'd like to make some money off them. I just don't want to trash them. Yeah, of course. I'll speak to Craig and Claire about it. Craig? Well, he has them. No, they sent them to me. Oh, you have them. Oh, I thought you had them. Yeah, and, you know, Justine, <laughs> you know, Justine, but that's the thing is that she says, you know, I got these things, what do I do? And I said, you got to send them to Streamly. She wasn't clear about what to do. I'll speak, I have Justine. Her, so her. now I'm going to, I got them, and I'll, <laughs> if you let me know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll speak to my boss about it. Well, let Craig know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can let me know. That is just a signature. Okay. Beautiful. Maybe I keep track of all these things. Whatever. What's this? This is just, it's just a signature as well. So you have the list on the computer? Mm-hmm. And we're just checking them out. <coughs> okay. So this was 423. And then like that. 431. How many, how many do we have today? We have, these are the last two. Okay. And literally that would be it. Do we have posters or anything? We do have two posters uh, for you to sign and that would be all of them. Okay. So there you go, 433. So I should go on, on my Instagram and say if you want autographs, you should send all the all requests, you should send it all to you. Once we figure it out. Yeah, once okay. we get once it. Once we get the nuts and bolts sorted out, that would be fine. So, how's it going to... What do you mean the nuts and bolts? Just how we do get them from. People, people sending autographs to you. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. once I get that figured out, I can certainly do that. And it's not a problem because that if Watch Robocop over 65 times. Yeah. <coughs> well, I just want to I want to say like to let people know where to send uh, uh, their requests for autographs. Yeah. Because on Cameo and Instagram, I get this all the time, and I just really would drop your name. Yeah. yeah. We love that. We love name dropping. Yeah, we can take care of you. <laughs> all right. Good. And those are all the orders that we have. So we, I guess you can still talk to the IG fans for the next IG fans. So for the next three minutes and then we're good to go. Okay. Great. I, what does IG mean? Instagram. Instagram. Is that what they call Instagram now for yeah. short is IG? Yeah. We just acronym everything like NASA. We do, don't we? Yeah. Did you think NASA, ladies and gentlemen out there, you think that NASA and space travel really started the abbreviation of all, say, uh, technical information or technical process? You think space travel really, did, or did really science fiction start it? Did R-U-R, you ever heard of that play? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Robot. Started a robot. Yep. That's how robots started, R-U-R. Uh, so, maybe. Uh, it's good that you guys know that. Yeah. Ask him all. <laughs> Isaac Asimov, right? I know a guy I had dinner with Isaac Asimov. I just wanted to have dinner with him. I knew nothing about him. <laughs> Is that not, nuts? Not just, three miles of robotics? No, no. Yeah. Just heard about him. Wanted to have dinner. Why? Because he was like a guy with a lot of money and, you know, movie guys. And I'd like to have dinner with Isaac Asimov. And he got to Isaac Asimov. And he, I think that Asimov, wow, this is years ago. And he's like a decade, dec decades. I said, uh, well, what, what do you, why, why would you want to have dinner with me? He says, 
Because you're famous. <laughs> and, uh, this is true. Ezra said, what do you, what do you know about me? He says, nothing really. He said, well, I have to go. We're having no conversation. So bye. And he got up and split, man. And just ghosted the dude. I would love to talk to Rick Bradbury. I think my sci-fi author. Ah, not mine. I, Bradbury, Ray Bradbury, yes. Um, Gene, you know, I did, I was one of the 100 invitees to speak to his 100th birthday. And the guy from me is Philip K. Dick. And I'm not a big sci-fi guy, but Philip K. Dick is about something more profound than science fiction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's about the extension of human um, consciousness. It's one of my favorite authors as well. Yeah. And there's a zen in it, too, you know. Um, I, and I did a wonderful movie with a bad title based on his book, The Fourth Variety, Second Variety. Mm -hmm. um, no, it was called Screamers. Oh, Screamers, yeah. Yeah. And gosh, it was wonderful. Oh, Jennifer Rubin, Ron White, and Christian Duguay directing it. It was Mandy. It's just a wonderful experience doing it, and it was a, it's a wonderful movie. I mean, it's a highly entertaining, probing movie with Philip K. Dick's, you know, themes of if you invented it and your mind created it, then there's humanity in it. Was that around the time you did Naked Lunch, if I remember correctly? Naked it was right after Naked Lunch. Okay. It was right after Naked Lunch, yeah. Uh, yeah. David Cronenberg, so I, that's very disturbing for me. <coughs> what, Naked Lunch? Yeah. Naked Lunch is a disturbing book. Hmm. <laughs> I got disturbed by the film, so I never wanted to read the book. So no, okay. Well, like, right. well, the book is even more disturbing. I mean, the, the movie is about how he came to write the book, but the book is about, um, you know, he predicts AIDS, liposuction, crack cocaine, on and on and on. Pen well, the book predicts those, but Cronenberg, you know, there are people who tried to make a movie out of Lake Lunch or write a script that's an anim it's got to be animated. Mm -hmm. But Cronenberg, in his particular gift, he, what a gifted man, uh, he said, you know, I'm going to write a script about how Burroughs, as Bill Lee, came to write Naked Lunch mm -hmm. using images of the book infused in the script about the writer's process. And that's what the movie is about, uh, okay. is the process of writing it. <laughs> and incorporating, you know, the asshole speech and the other speech and this uh, but but um, brilliant. A brilliant any, movie, a brilliant book. Any last uh, thoughts? To any last there? thoughts? Yeah. Well, look, it's been a pleasure talking to you. It's been a pleasure writing autographs for you guys. And I have an account, check in. The real deal, Dr. Peter Weller. <laughs> and that's me. Uh, and Huggies. That's all I got to say. <laughs> okay. Look, they don't know how to turn it off. No, I'm just saying, I'm waiting for you to say bye. It's artificial intelligence, man. <laughs>